And we're back with some more Subnautica. And this is the second half of the video that we started earlier. And right now, we're just about to head down to the lower levels where we've been sent to find the primary alien base. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This might be a little bit of a tight squeeze. Ooh, easy peasy, easy peasy. What the? I am what you seek. Want to help you. Okay, I think you're just going a little bit crazy. Might have been left alone a little bit too long on a planet while infected with an alien vi infection. Um, might be that. I haven't even drank anything today. What the hell? Ooh, there's more of that canine crystal. You know what? I don't. I don't need it. Oh, great. There's another one of those big Yoki Mabobs. We're on slow speed already. Yeah, that thing's not showing up on radar. Shouldn't it show up on radar? Ooh. There's something over there. Look. Looks like a little green cube building. Yeah, we're kind of noisy, I know. This can't be the lab. What did we... We're actually at 1.4 kilometers. That kind of snuck up on me. Wait, no, wait, there's more around here. So there's not just that, there's that big green blob. Damn it. Ugh. Ass hat being an ass hat. One second. There you go. Go nibble on that. I'm gonna go sneak over here. I can't tell if I have my lights on or not. Why is there no indicators? You know, if you keep freaking me out like that, I'm gonna have to kill you. Just on the principle of the thing. Okay. I think we're good. We'll turn off the engines. There we go. I'm gonna have to get and repair that. And I'm gonna give that guy a face full of gas. Will it kill him? Probably not. Do I care? A little bit. I just want to see him hurt. That's all. Nice. Hey, buddy. Ah. <sighs> Enjoy. Are they hitting him at all? They're not actually hitting him, are they? No! I think we got him! Oh my gosh. It takes forever to kill these things. I have to go back into the ship and get some more stuff. Alright, so it's Godzilla down. Uh, yeah, we've scanned this guy already. We're done with him. Oh, repaired the ship up. Yep, we got some damage over here. Like, you could have went on your way. We could have just, like, passed like ships in the night. But no, you had to make something of it. Oh, and what did that get you? Yeah, that's what it got you. Alright, 
I think the ship's okay. Time to drop out and go wandering in. Ooh, they've even got a front door on this one. They are really spoiling us. All right, chucks away. Let's get on with this. Hey, buddy. Taking a magma nap, eh? Yep, well, it's like the circle of life. He'll go back into the ground and, I don't know, fertilize something for someone somewhere. Actually, now that I think about it, I should probably park that ship a little bit better. It's really high up. All right, much nicer parking job. And, oh, there's some stuff right there. What's the temperature around here? Uh, temperature is 70. Okay, so it's a lot warmer in this section. That's okay. We're going to an alien base anyway. Uh, I kind of want to have a quick look in here, though. What are you guys? I and mean, are you enterable, or are you just like... Nah, you're just... Uh, you're cosmetic, I get it. You look like a big one. This might take a while. Uh, let's go. You have... Insert tablet. You need the blue one? Yep, the blue one we picked up, I think, at the power generator room. Sweet. Translating local alien broadcast. Warning, vaccine development program terminated. Emperor egg catching project terminated. Live specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. Thank you for your delicious ion cubes. I will put them to use doing something somewhere. What the? I think we just reactivated the lab. Ancient blade. Cool. Oh, I was really hoping that would allow us to like make a blade as opposed to a knife. Can I scan these little things? Ion cube fabricator? Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah, baby. That means we can get more of them? This device appears to be, to be the origin of the raw mineral that forms the base of the ion cubes, which power small alien systems. Likely drawing power itself from the main thermal plant, this device may represent an almost limited source of energy. Nice. Blue tablet. Smooth and cold with a blue light which illuminates an alien symbol representing, represent, resembling an uppercase H. What is likely these devices served? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, alien robot. The device is of alien origin, though its design is relatively simple. Uh, its low threat level is at odds with the advanced technology apparently available to its designers, suggesting it was intended more to patrol alien facilities and repair damaged infrastructure than to deter invaders. Design. Despite its simple design, this construction is quite elegant in its minimalism. Four electromagnetic legs allow to traverse floors, walls, and ceilings with reasonable speed and appear to be replaceable. Internally, there are a few moving parts rendering this construct energy efficient and resistant to wear over time. A rechargeable ion-based power reserve ensures it continues to operate. Assessment. Immobilize and return to Altera for mutual profit. As you wish. Yeah, where did it go? Wait, no, I'll finish scanning, then we'll go capture a robot. Oh. They just explode. Never mind. Okay, alien building block. This rock features uh, organic as well as mechanical parts, and there's some genetic te genetic and technological crossover with the design of the self-warping constructs encountered elsewhere. It appears to serve no purpose in its current state and is awaiting some kind of activation sequence. Materials such as this may have been a fundamental building block of aliens' technology, or even of the aliens themselves. Alien carving. Okay, this carving is hundreds of thousands of years old and made from an unrecognizable natural fiber grown on an unknown planet that bears striking resemblance to the Earth, old Earth yin-yang symbol. Two competing theories may explain the similarities. Aliens visit Earth prior to the 4th century BC and influence the development of ancient Chinese philosophy. The concept of yin-yang is universal since yin-yang decides the fundamental interdependency of seeming opposing forces. It may be a necessary existential understanding in some form in all sufficiently developed civilizations. The tapering of two circles, union into opposed and infinitesimally small points, the finite, is one logical way to represent this understanding and may have been developed independently by species other than humans. Hmm. A ceremonial alien statue, old earth blade. Wait a minute, this is an earth blade and it has blood samples on it? Match the DNA of several separate heads of state from the period. W wait a minute. Holographic projector. This device contains network apparatus and a holographic projection unit. It was like used as a communication relay. Huh. Nanobots. 
Scan, uh, scans show some form of advanced nanobots inside the seemingly empty case. These bots are substantially smaller than any developer in the Federation, and it is not possible to ascertain their exact function. It would, however, be unwise to release them. Hmm. You want to say organic matter particulator. This device contains a highly unstable radioactive isotope, likely to destroy all organisms exposed to it while leaving physical structures intact. Although it would function perfectly well as a weapon, it was more likely used to sterilize spaces for later inhabitation. Read instructions, it would be unwise to interact with it. Hmm. Rudimentary tablet. Uh, similar to the other tablets, but probably earlier. Tracking implant. This construct is emitting a high bandwidth signal consistent with alien transmissions intercepted elsewhere. DNA in the exterior indicates it was once implanted inside one of the life forms indigenous to this planet. Its size suggests the subject was a Leviathan class organism. Run tracking and broadcasting its location, the implant may also have recorded biological data. Huh. Translation device. Uh, this device stores linguistic data from over 1,000 different languages. The core of the device may allow alien text to be read and translated. Analysis of the onboard data reveals a number of ancient Earth languages, and the term CHBC Live appears many times in the device data. Its import is unclear. The device seems to be configured to translate into the designer's language. It will not work the other way around. Well, that's just great. Well, we've done all the reading. Let's do all the looting. There's got to be more stuff in here to loot. Insert iron cube. As you wish. Now, where does this portal bring us to is the question. Uh, the last one brought us to the alien base that fires the gun. Uh, I think this is the island? Near where it fires the gun? Uh, could be wrong about that. You know what? Doesn't make a difference. Actually, easy way to tell. Where's home base from here? There we go, 0, zero 1700 meters southwest. Alright, so we got a teleporter room. What else we got in here? Ooh, they got a slip and slide. Uh, let's see. Yeah, piping. Yeah, nice little aquarium they got going on. I still haven't built that alien containment aquarium. I just haven't found a need for it yet. Uh, more alien aquarium stuff. But I'm guessing there's it's the data pad we're here for. What are you? Ventilation control. Water flowing to and from the primary containment facility is being automatically controlled independent of other safeguards. Data on the water composition has been recorded. Inflow. Water is being drawn from different biomes around the surface of the planet. The water temperature is considerably lower than the volcanic environment outside the facility, while microorganisms and nutrient counts are substantially higher. Outflow. Oxygen-deprived water being flooded from the system and recycled back to the surface. This is feeding something. There's something in here. Something being kept alive. That's what those liquid vents are for. They're keeping something alive down here. Why do I feel like it's going to be a giant, giant, giant thing that's going to try and kill us? Or eat us? Or kill us, then eat us? Or eat us and then kill us, who knows. Inflow pipe, what do you got for us? Uh, peepers entering the containment facility? Peepers entering the containment facility. The pipes drawing water into containment facility are filled with peepers arriving from the surface. The fish, fish show, show no signs of distress. The specimens scanned have all consumed high quantities of seeds and organic matter from the surface. Some specimens are beginning to show signs of infection. Huh. All right, so something down here is making the fish not die because they're only supposed to die in like four days or something. So something down here is keeping them alive somehow. So maybe there is an antidote. So sure, there has to be an antidote, otherwise we'd be dead and the game would end. Oh, another teleporter. Maybe this is the underwater one? Actually, yeah, maybe. Doesn't make a difference. So this is a way to fast travel around the map if you really want to. Uh, you need the blue tablet, eh? I don't have one of those on me right now. I've only got an orange tablet. I'm still looking for some reason to use that one. I'll be back. I'll have a quick explore of these few, few doors over here first. There's three of them I haven't looked at yet. Oh, another teleporter. And I'm out of iron cubes. I got more back in the ship. Huh, what are you? This room, 
appears to be a biological archive storing more than 40 indigenous egg specimens in different states of development. Thank God we don't have to scan them all. Integrating new PDA data. Leviathan research. See Emperor Leviathan research data. Specimen size categories have been adjusted upwards to accommodate this species. Feeding and design alien research data indicates that despite its size, this species feeds entirely on microorganisms. It filters from the water, which themselves depend on a complicated ecosystem of plant and animal life. Reproductions. Large ovary-like organs are carried in the creature's middle section, suggesting that, like other species on this planet, it produces eggs. However, internal scar tissue indicates probably infertile. Enzyme 42. Uh, the Emperor manufactures Enzyme 42 within its stomach cavity to break down its food and will occasionally expel it into the surrounding waters. This substance was found to neutralize the effects of the bacterium, and its presence in the ecosystem today would explain how life on the planet survived the outbreak. It would remain to be explained by what mechanism the enzyme is being delivered. Health. Comparative an analysis of size and metabolic rates indicate the specimen captured by the researchers was approximately 1,600 years old. Extensive internal and external scar tissue suggests it had lived well in excess of the peak lifespans for its species. Assessment. While a healthy emperor specimen may have held some potential as a cure, it is unlikely any research subjects survived quarantine procedures. Huh. So they found a creature that it was immune, but then they did. it was too old? Alright, we got one more door to go, then I need to find a blue tablet. Uh, last door on our left. This is the last unexplored door in here, excluding that one in the very center that has the force field on it. I'm gonna guess uh, another teleporter? Huh? Huh? Yeah, judging by the amount of teleporters we found, it should just, there should be one more, right? Yep, yep, there is. So I need uh, two ion cubes and a blue tablet from the ship. Be right back. I mean, a quick stop to grab the uh, ion cubes they're just handing out for free. Hell yeah. And I never tried up here. Sorry, there was actually a couple more doors I hadn't looked at. Uh, you can wait here. Enzyme 42 project data. According to translated data logs, an indigenous Leviathan species was found to produce a unique substance referred to as Enzyme 42, which inhibits the symptoms of the Cara bacterial infection and other indigenous organisms. The specimen was captured and contained in a purpose-built habitat for further study. The alien researchers went to great lengths to provide it for the life form's environmental needs, including the inter import of interdependent flora and fauna via an on-site warp gate. However, its health quickly deteriorated. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and force fields were sealed. All attempts to develop the enzyme into a vaccine had been unsuccessful. Well, that doesn't sound great. What are you? Preserved fetus. Sea Emperor fetus. Uh, found preserved in the displaced case, it was likely a child of the adult, adult specimen contained in the facility. Uh, physiology. Superficial damage to the specimen indicates it was artificially removed from its egg casing. Stunted tissue development suggests the organism expired during the removal process. Tissue samples have been taken from the digestive tract. Analysis. It appears the aliens were attempting to formulate a cure for the bacterium from enzymes produced in the specimen's digestive system. Without a young, healthy specimen, these efforts were in vain. Well, needs must as the bacteria drives. Preserved egg casing they removed it from, I presume. Sea Emperor egg casing, shell composition, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Precise incisions suggest a laser-based tool was used to cut open the egg casing and forcibly remove the fetus inside prior to full gestation. Analysis, time pressure to develop a bacterial vaccine may have driven the alien researchers to cut open the egg and remove the fetus for study. It is also possible that removed from its parents and natural habitat, some vital condition for the infant to hatch naturally was not met. Hmm. Blue tablet requires an ion cube and two canines. Easy peasy. Right, let's see what's behind door number three. Actually, three, four, five. Door number eight, six, seven, eight. Door number eight. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to go back for the, uh, for the prawn. Yeah. I don't know what's in here. And just in case I got to punch an alien in the mouth, I want to be prepared with the biggest metal fists I've got. Great water. Well, good thing we brought this boy up. Huh. That feels almost like a trap. Oh, buggery. 
right. Are you here to play? Others came here once. They built these walls. They played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, we have you. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. You're creepy. I mean... Okay, at least you're not trying to punch me. That, that's great. Detecting unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. Huh. This is a rather large containment facility. Okay, right, so this is the sea emperor. It produces the enzyme that keeps fish healthy. So the peepers that were going into the vents... Where is it? Okay, here it is. The inflow vent is drawing water, like this is the alien vents you find a place, and pumping it to an unknown location below the surface. Warm, deoxygenated water is being expelled into the atmosphere. This is what's keeping this fish alive. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress. Okay, so the peepers are coming in here getting their drug fix, and bringing down food for this thing, or nutrients or something. Hey, you want to keep chatting, or...? No? Ah, this... Kind of wish we'd got to punching, then. Eh, eh, we'll have a quick look around, though. Oh, I need to scan this thing. That's probably it. You gonna stay still for me? You gonna be a good Sea Emperor? I can't keep up with this thing. Unlike other alien facilities, scans indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. Explanation unclear at this time. Environment scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare, plankton-like life form which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. My young need to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. Okay. Um, I'll try. Right. Uh, what does this do? Insert hatching enzyme. Where do I get hatching enzyme? Cool. You got like super breath. Careful. And we are reducing a giant telepathic Leviathan thingy, but uh it's probably with the fine. passage you've opened, my young can leave this place. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Okay, blueprint acquired. Hatching enzymes. An eye stalker seed, a sea crown seed, a fungal sample, a bull brush sample, and a ghost weed seed. Ah, uh, damn it! We don't have any of those on us. One second. Water. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, 
No, I was really hoping this would be an auction place. Ooh, this might have been a mistake. Oxygen. Yeah, I, I'm aware. Which is faster? You know what? Up, 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 up. Ooh. Never mind. After much, much effort, I have found all the pieces of this enzyme. It, uh, it took a little bit of time, but that's okay. That's okay. The first thing we had to get was the sea crown seed. That one was actually pretty easy. We found that in the under part layer of the, well, the, the crazy lady with the eggs. Yeah, inside her little habitat. I figured I'd check there first because it was a, well, they said it was a diverse biome. But yeah, that was the only one of the five that I found was actually in there. Sea crown seed. Pretty handy. Then came the fungal sample. That was actually back home at the base. I chopped that off one of those mushroom forest trees. So yeah, the mushroom forest trees, they have like, you can chop those and get fungal samples out of them. That one was actually pretty handy. Uh, the next one up was the bulb bush. The bulb bush is actually just those big blue thingies that you have around the place. You know, the glowing ones you see on the bottom, that was actually very handy to get. Then I went looking for the eye stalk seed and the ghost weed seed. And while I was looking towards, well, basically I was just wandering around the map, I found a wreck. And in that wreck, I found the fragments for the nuclear reactor. Still have not found that reinforced sw swimsuit though. So yeah, I think that's actually, I needed the propulsion cannon. I did not have that with me. Oh, how I got back to base was I went through the underwater portal in the mech, in the prawn. And then I swam back from there using the, uh, the little handheld power thingy. That way I was able to get back to base, get into the sea moth, and do all the checking around. I basically just scoured the map looking for these plants. But yeah, it turns out the eye stalk seed, I found that in the middle of nowhere. I can't even remember. I was just swimming around looking for stuff. I saw the glowy things and I'm like, oh wait, they're what I'm looking for. The final one to find was the ghost weed seed. That one was a pain in the butt. I found that one on top of some floating rocks. And once I found that one, I was done. So I came back to, well, this side of the map. That's what the portals are useful for. But anyway, with all of that done, we can finally go hatching enzymes. Some of it's a little bit gone off, but they'll probably be fine, right? Whee! <laughs> okay, we're here. I love this mech though. It really is so much fun to pilot. And where is, ah yes, over here. Insert hatching enzyme. Uh, are they going to be friendly on birth? Am I going to have to start punching some people? How you doing, buds? Okay, they're friendly. They're friendly. That's good. Yep, yeah, there's your... Uh, I don't even know what you call that. Leviathan mama? Octopus something Leviathan mama? I, it, it, it's weird. Oh, she's getting hugs for the first time in like 1600 years. So, uh... Don't mean to rush this, uh, mother-child thingy, what's it, but, uh, bargain, please? My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. What will it be like, I wonder, to go to sleep and never wake up? Um, that's just Perhaps death. Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current, carrying seas to a new land. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell. Uh, didn't we have a bargain or something? Like... Hmm... Well, we can scan the sea emperor eggs. Okay, maybe we can scan this thing now. Maybe that's it. Nope, still can't scan this thing. Uh, that's... I really feel like we had a deal here. Oh, and technically them dying is not my fault. Right, I just did what they asked. Their whole death was just a, an accidental byproduct. That had nothing to do with me. All right, uh, let's get out of here, I suppose. 
I kind of want to get back up and start finishing that rocket. Are we healthy now? No. No, we've still got those green pustule things going on, so... Uh, yeah. Oh, and we have four new blueprints. Get yeah, that wreck I found had a few things in it. One was the prawn suit torpedo arm. Uh, don't really need it. We've got a knife, so I think we'll be good. The nuclear reactor. Again, I think we're a little bit past that right now. Uh, a basic plant pot and a chic plant pot. Great, we just have more options on our planter pots. Well, um, hmm. I think it's time to go back up and finish building that rocket. We've got all the necessary resources, I think. Rocket. Damn, that's a hell of a jump. You gotta give it to this thing with a little bit of tweaking. You can make it go real far. No, uh, only when you're in water. Once you're on land, uh, yeah, that whole jumping thing is not nearly as impressive. I am a little torn right now in that, well, we could get back to base a lot shorter if we just hop through the teleporters. However, that doesn't allow us to bring back all our resources, so we'd probably have to zip back and forth a bunch of times bringing all the necessary resources to build a rocket. Uh, I think I'll compromise. I am going to go back up in this ship. I'm going to bring everything back to the surface. But I think I'm going to drop off a bunch of beacons outside every single one of the portals. Uh, yeah, if we drop off a few beacons outside all the portals, I'll know where all the portals are, which should make getting back here if I really need to that much easier. What are you? Touch concentrated enzyme 42. Is this a cure? <laughs> or are we just about to go on a weird trip? Oh, please tell me that's the cure. Is it done? <laughs> Let's see the hands. Okay, there's no weird gunk on our hands anymore. Excellent. Concentrated enzyme. Can we pick that up? No, we cannot. Damn it. Okay, well. Uh, like, are we not just going to immediately get reinfected? No, yeah, I'll worry about it later. Actually, before I worry about it, let's do a quick self scan. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. No remaining sign of bacterial infection. Well, excellent. That's great news. Oh, uh, the reason I'm out here, or the reason I was wandering around, was I was putting beacons outside all of these areas. And where did you... What did you do my do beacon? There's Central 1 over there. This is Central 3. Ah, there it is. So this is uh, Beacon Central 3. And Central 3, I basically just put down... Damn it. I put down the name, which is the third portal, uh, how many meters it is from home base. So this is 1,700 meters from home base. The closest one so far is about 1,070 meters from home base. So if we ever do need to get back to the central location, I know where the closest places are depending on where I am on the map or what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh. Like, there's no cleaning people here. I mean, I don't think I have any cleaning staff left in this place, so that's just going to start to, well, mess up the place after a while. I mean, circle of life and all that, I suppose. I have beaconed every single one of those gateways just so that we can back, get back to this place if we absolutely need to. Time to head back home. It's going to be a long journey. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to skip most of that so you don't have to watch it. Our home away from home. Uh, should I do anything while I'm here? I think we've got everything. I don't even want to demolish it for parts. I prefer to just leave it here. Also, there is a transport tunnel or a teleporter somewhere in these mines or somewhere in this fossil place. Where is it? Ah, Central 4, 1700 meters from home. So this one leads to teleporter 4 in the core place. Probably should have built our base beside that if we had known it existed because that would allow us to, well, you know what, never mind. We, we did what we did because we were playing blind. Right, let's keep going. Time to go home and build that rocket and then get off this planet. Wait a minute. There's one of those plants I was looking for. The ones I found on the floating rocks. The, uh... Oh, damn, I can't remember. I think they're ghost somethings? So they were... Hmm, they were down here already. I could have went back... Ah, uh, you know what? It was probably faster going. Not 
going to worry about it. All right. We're almost out of the caves, and then it's just a straight, straight shot back home. Oh, the floating rocks are right above the base, or the entrance. Right, so when I was doing all of my wandering around in the off hours trying to find those plants, I actually wandered over the entrance to the weird cave and found the plants on... Ah, oh, that's only mildly embarrassing. Hey, come on, come on, we got a rocket to build. That Neptune rocket's not going to build itself. Oh, and we also got to turn off the, um... No, oh, whatchamacallit. That weapon that shoots us down out of the sky. But the rocket first, then I'll zip off and turn off the weapon. And there's our way home. We're gonna park up and we're gonna start building the last parts. I'm pretty sure I've got the blueprint for the next piece already ready to go. Okay, right about there is perfect. So, blueprints wise, we're looking for Neptune boosters. This is one that required three nickel ore, which we didn't have access to before. Well then, I think we're good to put this together. Come here, you. You've been left idle for far too long. Ooh. Now that looks more like the base of a rocket. Excellent. Uh, actually, I think I just speed this long. It's going to take a while. Perfect. Now what we need to do is construct the Neptune fuel reserve. Which requires plasteel, crystalline sulfur, 4 canite, and uh, that looks like one of those new batteries we've just got our hands on. Two ion power cells. You know what? All of this, easy peasy. All we need to make this is four gold, four silver, four ion cubes. I may have overmined them a few times. When I was going in and getting those teleporters up and running, I was like, it kept filling it up with ion cubes. I'm not going to not mine those while they're just sitting there. And then we're also going to need two uh, silicone rubber. It's just made out of that uh, weed, weed thing that we also make um, medicine out of. Right, so we would like an ion battery with six. One iron cube, one gold, one silver. We're going to need to make four of these. And then we can make two ion power cells. Done. Then there's the four crystalline sulfur. That is actually super easy. One, two, three, four. And then we're also going to need the four k -nite. That's fine. I've got that over... I want to say this one. Oh, wait. Here we are. One, two, three, four. And that just leaves us with the plasteel, which will require one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of that. And then one lithium, which we've got over here. The plasti or the titanium, you turn into a titanium ingot. The ten titanium goes into that. Yeah, I needed two lithium, not one. My bad. Then we combine the two lithium with the titanium ingot to make the plasteel. And that's it. Okay, well, unless they've got something else they want us to build on top of the rocket. I think this is the last piece. Hey, yeah, we're doing it in the dark, it seems. You, construct. Alright, so what does that leave us with? Neptune cockpit. Fine, Cyclops shield generator, plasteel enamel glass, and... Yep, easy peasy. I think I'm gonna rip the shield generator out of this. I mean, we could build another one, but... The only use I found for the sh shield generator was... Well, with my playstyle, anyway was knocking off those bugs that drain the energy. That was it. And in the end, I discovered that it was better off just, if you were going to park somewhere for a while, hop out and kill them all. And you have to hit them like three times with a knife. And once they're dead, they stop coming back, at least for a while. Which meant you didn't come back to your ship having only 26% power at some point. Eh. Yeah. Last piece. It's not fair, I can't see the top. Okay, well you just have to imagine it. They're like building it away up there. Okay. One rocket online. Well, that was a bit melodramatic, but cool. Um, hmm. We'll be back to the rocket in a minute. For now, we're going to head over to uh, the Leprechaun's Revenge. Namely, that's parked up by the, the cannon. Oh, that's where the island is hiding. The island hides inside that cloud. That's why you can't see it. Like, the thing is, you can see for miles around. It's the ocean. And as long as you can get up with a little bit of height, you should be able to see any land masses that are around the place. So the reason this island is so bloody hard to find is they hide it inside a cloud. 
Ha, huh, there we go. It just magically appears out of the fog and disappears and aha. Uh, yeah, optical illusions to keep us away from this place. I understand, I understand. The reason we're coming all the way back here is, well, okay, it's not for the portal. There's actually a portal down there that leads back to the hatching room. Uh, that's why this, the leprechauns here, I basically did all my scavenging for the plants parts, and then I parked it up here, hopped into the mech, or the prawn, and then went back through the portal to actually bring the plant parts back. But the reason we're coming here is this is where the weapon is controlled. The weapon that shot down the ship that tried to rescue us. Was it the Aurora or something? I, I can't remember. And in here, in here is where the weapon is controlled. Oh my god, I do not remember there being this many stairs. Yes, this looks familiar. All right, uh, interact. Okay, do a quick blood taste. You know, this feels very, very irresponsible. We just turned off the quarantine system for a planet that still has, like, an active virus on it. Wouldn't this doom everyone who comes here? Because they'd have to figure out that, you know, they have to get the enzyme before they could leave and all that, but they won't because we've turned this off. <coughs> then again, that does sound like the next person's problem, but it feels very, very irresponsible. Ah, <sighs> okay. I think that's our last time indoors. Let's go dock the leprechaun, bring it back with us. Get on a rocket and get off this rock. Hello, rocket. I've uh, color coded it with our standard leprechaun color scheme. Um, I don't know if that is standard leprechaun colors, but whatever. Let's see if we can't get on board. I assume this is the coal elevator. Right, activate elevator. Hmm, I feel like we're missing a guardrail, but it's okay. Oh, you can see our solar panels sticking out of the water over there. Cool. Okay, then. Uh, what are you stuff? Now, aren't we supposed to get a chance to put down a pod that we leave behind for the next crowd? Never mind. It's amazing what you can build with just some scraps you find lying around the place. Auxiliary power unit. I have no idea what that does. Hydraulic systems. Communications array. Communications systems array active. Hydraulic systems active. Pressurizing hydraulics. Auxiliary power unit online. Okay. There, there's literally storage in here. Oh, I should probably bring food, right? That might be an idea. Cool. They did not skimp on the graphics for this one. Uh, Beauty primary CPU. Prepare time capsule. Right. Image message. Uh, have a stasis rifle. Uh, and a marble melon seed. That's a stasis rifle with a 500 battery charge in it. You should be good. And thermal blade? Hmm. You know what? Take the flashlight. I never used it enough anyway. Take care of your problems one slice at a time. Uh, Image-wise... Yep, sure. Oh, Stephen, where I took those pictures half the time. Done. That is finished. I'm capsule ready. Excellent. Though... Give me one second. There's one thing I want to do first. I went back and grabbed some uh, marble melon seeds and some titanium just so that we can build some plant pots and grow some food. I mean, I don't know how long this journey is going to take. Uh, activate life support system. Life support systems online. Perfect. What's anything else we're missing? Boot up the primary CPU. 
primary computer systems active. I really feel like this thing needs an instruction manual, but anyway, rocket not All ready. All systems are go for lift off. Oh, okay. I think. Ooh. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Yeah, uh, command. Launch in ten, nine. Eight, uh oh, seven, uh, birdies, six, that's not a great five, place to be. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Time capsule jettisoned. Nice. Now, the question is do we crash land somewhere else, or do we actually make it to space? Caution. Approaching orbital debris field. That's where we have... No! Okay, not a second time. Orbital debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. The fact that we managed to make it into orbit in that short a time frame is kind of impressive. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Sounds good to me. Engaging ion boosters in three, two, one. Okay, start it then. What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. We are different, but we go together. <laughs> okay. Gotta give it to it. This game's got... Heart or something? I don't know. I enjoyed the bejesus out of that. That just... Mm, it's the colors are vibrant. Everything was good about it. It was fun to play. I got, I got no I got, I got no critiques. It was fun. <laughs> okay, uh, that was Subnautica. And sorry about the delay getting this one out. It's just I couldn't stop playing. I wanted to... I was so close to the end at all the time. And then I had to find those pieces for the... Uh, the enzyme and then uh, yeah, everything got distracted so yes that's why i'm going to have to break up this video because it's too long and youtube would kill me anyway uh that was subnautica i hope you enjoyed and good luck now if you'll excuse me i have an awful lot of room world to play i just i've been burning to get into anomaly but i just i had to finish this off first mm -hmm.